I met Justin through his sister Felicia. This is Pamela, Hello. one of my good friends. And then Samu. Hello. Pamela. And you, you met my school. And it was at GYC in Seattle in 2012. Um, I was walking up to my hotel room and uh, as I got to my floor, the elevator doors open and ding! <laughs> And when we got over to the place we were going to be staying at, the elevator opened and Felicia introduced us to a friend, uh, Pamela. And I tried to play it cool when I responded like, oh, hey, how you doing? But in real life, I was like, yes! <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's kind of funny because I actually met him three separate times that day. First I met him through Uli, and then his sister, Felicia, and then through my cousin, who they went to college together. And he kept saying, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, like three times. And I was like, I already met you. <laughs> we first started talking on Facebook. I was the one who messaged I just wanted to say hi. I was doing Bible work in Salt Lake City and I got a message from Pamela. She just said hi. And I was excited. <laughs> then we started messaging each other um, back and forth for several months and then we finally um, met up in person. I caught her outside real fast and smooth. I just got a number and then walked away like nothing happened. And I called her that night and we talked all night. Um, I would say that I was the one that initiated the whole thing. I found a lot of interest in Pamela. Um, he didn't really ask me out, he was just telling me like... <laughs> I knew she was just a girl that I couldn't pass. Um, so I wanted to make the initiative to ask her to be my girlfriend. One night after hanging out with my friends, we were driving home and uh, we were just talking and then he asked me to be his girlfriend. I felt like I needed to pray about it and to really think about it and of course, so a week later, I said yes, I want to be your girlfriend and... <laughs> it was February 15th where she when we finally made it official. Our first date was at the Mission Inn in Riverside on Christmas night. We had the big huge Christmas tree in Mission Inn and we took pictures. So I don't think I, I was as shy as she was, but I was just trying to let her know that I wasn't so big huge, huge uh, wildebeest. I was nervous getting ready. I like, you know, changed my outfits a couple times and um, then we had dinner and I was really shy. I couldn't eat and I told him. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm shy. I can't eat. And he was like eating away. He was like, don't be shy. Just eat. But I was really nervous. Justin would offer to pray with me every night and every day and he would read the Bible with me and study the lesson, Sabbath school lesson, read the Spirit of Prophecy and that's when I knew he was the one. Salo is somebody that means a lot to me and me and Pamela along with her mom and father went to Arizona for the GYC function that happened. And we took Pamela's truck. It was almost about three years since I've seen my brother. She let me take her truck to go and see him. Salo was excited to see us, so when we finally got to visit him, uh, we sat there for about five, six hours, talking and uh, reminiscing about the past and uh, just catching him up on everything that's been going on with the family and telling him about Pamela ask her to marry me. Uh, it's just something that really meant a lot to me and I'm very appreciative of the fact that she knows how much family means to me. 
the way Justin takes care of my mom and the way he treats my mom and I just made me really fall in love with him even more because I don't think there are a lot of guys out there who really would consider um, or think about like their girlfriend's mom and just the way he would always ask about my mom uh, just made me know that he really loved me. Uh, one thing that really caught my attention about Pamela was how attentive she is to uh, people that may not be uh, feeling like they are treat being treated right and uh, she's a type of an advocate. She's a nurse and it reminds me of my mom. Just growing up I used to go to work with her and see how caring she was for her own patients and even though Pamela's quiet uh, when you get to know her, you'll realize that she's very empathetic and caring. Justin came over to my house with his entire family and they brought a bunch of Tongan gifts and um, he asked my parents for their blessing or my brother and my mom and he sang to me and I had an idea of what was gonna happen, but I was still very delightfully surprised. I felt so special to see him and his whole family there. I just felt so loved. Pamela's dad meant a lot to her, and he passed away back in 2012. So when I proposed to Pamela, I wanted to make sure I asked the respect of her oldest brother and her mother as well. It's a very touchy subject because you know our father passed away not too long ago. And so I'm kind of speaking on his behalf too, but uh, I know that he would uh, be glad to um, give a blessing for Justin. They say simplicity is beauty, so I just wanted to come over with my family to her house and ask her hand in marriage.